here's an updated version to the Gcam for the Surface Duo. So I stop what I'm doing. Download the new version of Gcam. And see what it's all about. Now, the new version of Gcam, as you can see here, is called Camera PX. I keep all of the cameras so I can do comparisons when these things come out. Now, the new camera, if we decide to attempt to get it, does have its uh, bugs. This is one of them. When you are in this particular view, sometimes the uh, selfie view, the, sc the screen tends to crush itself. I don't know why. Uh, I was able to rectify this by messing with the uh, camera, uh, changing it around, things along those lines. Uh, and it did fix itself, as you can see. So it is possible to have it all fixed, but when you first start up, you get all kinds of weird bugs. There's that. Uh, when you go to portrait, uh, well, it's working pretty good now, but before when I went to a portrait, it flipped itself up upside down. So there's little, as they say, janks that will come with the use of this particular camera. But there are two benefits that I see to using this one, even with its janks, or, or at least you, you, using this one in combination with one of the other ones. Because if you go into the settings, it does have HDR. So the regular service cam has HDR, it just doesn't take very good pics. This one with the HDR and some of Google's camera tech know-how, you should be able to get some pretty quality pics out of your Service Duo cam now. But this is not the first bug you're going to see if you uh, attempt to uh, fiddle with this camera here. First thing you will see is this. Absolutely nothing. It's not that the camera isn't working. The camera, for some reason, again, bugs, cannot display in its four by three aspect ratio on one X. It just doesn't. Now, if you go into it and you move your zoom in, you get the picture back. Again, it's a weird thing that the camera does, but anything, if it's on one X, the screen will freeze and it'll probably go blank or crash. As you can see here, it froze. Now, to fix this, if you decide to go with this camera, is you, you go into your settings and you go to wide crop 616 by nine. When you do that, again, the camera will freeze or crash like it did here. But when you go back into to it, your, your camera will be working just fine as far as those bugs are concerned. Now, again, this is a port of the G cam or another port. The reason to get this one over the other one, even with those bugs that I just showed you, is right here. It does have support for HDR and HDR+. The Gcam or Camera Go, the original Gcam that I showed you, did not have that. And that was a uh, non-starter for many people who had an interest again, Gcam on the Surface Go. So even though it does have those little bugs, you, you do get the, G, the HDR, which was something a lot of you did want. And you still retain your night shot. You see, there goes a another little bug. I I switched to the night shot, and for some reason, it decided to turn upside down. It doesn't always do that, but it has on occasion, as it did here. Same thing with the portrait shot. At times, 
this time it didn't turn upside down, but this was the main cul culprit before. So switch to portrait, uh, the viewfinder would just flip itself for whatever reason. Couldn't, couldn't tell you why. But, like I said, bugs, but it is a more complete camera as far as the software goes. You do have your HDR, you do have your night shot, you do have the ability, which I always found fun with my Pixel. Let me take a quick picture of myself. When you take a picture with a quick swipe, you are able to directly send that picture to any number of social media sites or uh, messaging applications. Or if you want, you can add, like in this case, I could add chats. Uh, let's add, I don't know for the hell of it. Let's, let's add the gram to Twitter. It, it, it really don't matter what, what you do. But for the sake of this demonstration, that does just do that. So that's, that's there. And now I can take a picture once again. press on the arrow and I can directly send to anything and there it goes so that is one more of the little tweaks that this that they did add to this new version of the Gcam uh, as far as the pictures themselves go I did take a few uh, I'm honestly not quite sure um, how much better they are than the other ones, but I guess we can take a, a quick look here. Now let's go into the new camera, the PX, and again do a portrait mode shot. Now the first thing that you'll see with this, well, sorry, is it does this letterbox when you take it but overall it is a pretty good pick it blurs the background nicely uh i am pretty much in focus in the shot i'm not like I said the best camera guy out there uh, and i don't know how well you guys can see it but the background is blurred um me myself i do stand out but it does do this letterbox uh, framing around the pick. Now with the camera go, when you go into a port portrait shot, if, if you can see it well, I don't know if this is what some would prefer. I think I like the PX camera a bit better. Again, the background is blurred and I guess you see in the hat is kind of focused, not focused and what have you. Um, the curtain behind me right here looks not blurred as well. Like it's part of the foreground, even though it's in the uh, background there. Now, when we go into the regular camera, Again, another portrait shot. You you get that. I'm in the foreground and everything behind me is blurred as it uh, should be. So I guess it, it really depends on your preference with these things. I don't know why it's still showing that one. But um, I did take a few other shots with these uh, this here was what the camera go did as a portrait in front of my local deli. Um, okay, what is okay? Yeah, I think it was that one. No, it was actually that that one. That's what the camera go did. Or and then we have here the surface. And then here we have the camera PX. Personally, I like the way the camera PX does its shots. What, whatever algorithms or programming they do, again, I'm no kind of the 
developer, I think that this port actually works pretty well when you're actually taking pics. The camera PX or the new version of the G Cam does it does have its benefits. Yes, you do have a few little bugs that do pop up when you first turn on the camera, but they're easily navigated and you're able to get into your camera to take the shot that you want to take. And overall, because of the in inclusion of the HDR and all of that, I would have to say, again, not a photographer, that this particular camera overall takes better pics than the GoCam or the and the stock cam. It has all of the features that you want. The HDR it has the night shot. It has what I like, the quick share. You know, it's pretty much my Pixel Go. Or what are you saying? It's it's pretty much my Pixel camera. Only on the Surface Duo. You get the same quick share. You get the same night shot. You get it also. They took it from this and they put it on this. Well, with that said, uh, I just want to share this new updated version of the G Cam for those that want to share it or want to try it. I will have the camera itself in the description below and uh, feel free to download it and let me know what you think. Until then, this is NG, the Neon X and the Service Duo and the Camera PX, this is what I'm into.